All right, guys, welcome back. So on this episode, we're going to dive more in depth into routes and views and exactly how to create our own views and our own routes. So let's get started. So on the previous episode, we basically kind of looked into different files and the folder structure. So, and as I mentioned, the most important files for now for us is going to be the web.php, which is inside the routes folder and welcome.blade, which is inside the views folder. So let's go and take a look at the web.php. So this is where we define our routes and by routes, basically I'm referring to HTTP requests that our application can handle. So we could have, for example, a dashboards routes, right? So for example, users go to this link, we want to, you know, display a specific page. We might have a profile page. We might have a user's page or a feed page. So this is where we define these different routes, right? Inside this web.php. And for each of these, we may want to display something different to the user. Now, uh, if I'll control Z all the way back, initially, this is what we had on the page, basically route slash, which basically this means our root folder, right? The, you know, if you have, for example, google.com, that's the slash. Now, and what we are doing here is we are basically, we have a closure here and we are telling Laravel to return this welcome.blade file, right? So welcome.blade.php. That's what we are telling it. So this, this view is a function, built-in function in Laravel. And all it does is it goes inside the resources folder, the views folder, and finds a file matching the name you provided, right? And you don't need to tell it the blade.php, it's smart enough, it just automatically figures out, okay, oh, you wanna view this view file? Fine, I'll go find it and I basically return it to the page. As a matter of fact, we can actually get rid of this and write our own HTML here. So I'm just gonna put h1 tag. And here I'm gonna say, hello world. That's it. So I removed that view function. I'll, I'll save it. I'll go back. And you can see it actually got a bit bigger. So this is basically, it's returning the HTML. So, but obviously writing HTML like this is gonna be a hassle. We're not gonna be doing it this way. Instead, we're gonna basically use view and pass in the HTML file we want. So we already have a welcome.blade. And as a matter of fact here, I'll add a h1 tag here as well. All right. So, and I type in welcome. And again, we don't need to type blade.php. We don't need to do that. A lot of us is smart enough to figure that out. And if you go back, we'll, we see the same thing, right? So nothing changed. So you can either return the HTML or use the view. Again, we're not going to be using the HTML tag here anymore. We just type this, use this view function to speed up the process. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to have, obviously we have the root folder, which is going to be our main page. I also want to have a feed page and also a profile page, right? So I want these two pages to also exist. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to go create them. Now, if you pay attention, this route is imported here. It's a it comes with Laravel and we're using a static function called get. So this get function is basically referring to a get request. You can also use post if you want to do a post request. We won't be doing that for now. Now you don't need to memorize it all. You can actually just copy it for now until you learn it. And instead of this, I'm going to make feed. And one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to also add profile. Now, before I'll, I actually comment them for now, I'll go to the browser. I hope you guys can see at the top. I'm going to type in profile. And if I write this, I actually get not found, right? So that's because I commented this out. So right now, Laravel does not know about this page. And if someone tries to access it, it tells it, hey man, I'm not found. I don't know what you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and uncomment these two. And right now, what we are telling Laravel to do is basically display our welcome.blade HTML, right? So if someone accesses slash profile, show them the welcome view, right? That's what we are telling Laravel to do. So I reload, and now all of a sudden we see hello world, right? So that's very cool. And it makes it easy to create a bunch of different pages. 
Now I want different actually HTML for these pages. So I want to actually show profile here. If I view feed, I want to show feed. And if I go to the route, to the root, I want to show hello world. So how do we do that? Well, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and inside our views folder, create two new files. And I'm going to name them uh, feed.blade.php. And you may have noticed, okay, what is this Blade? Blade is a templating engine that comes with Laravel and it eliminates the need to use PHP code inside our HTML. So we will learn about Blade in the uh, two episodes from now. So for now, just bear with me. It's basically a templating engine for Laravel. So just name your files .blade.php like that. And I create another one and I call it profile.blade.php. And inside feed, I'm going to add an h1 tag and I call it feed. And I'll do the same thing on the profile page. All right, I'm going to save it. Now I go back to the web file and instead of returning the welcome page on the feed route, I'm going to return feed. And on the profile page, I'm going to return profile. And again, we don't need to add .blade.php. Laravel is smart enough, it'll figure it out. So I'll go back to these pages. So on the route root folder, on the, on the root route, we see hello world. I'll type in slash profile. We'll see profile and I'll do slash, I'll zoom in a bit more and I'll do slash feed and we see feed. So as you can see, this is working. We have three different paths on our application. And so, yeah, now we know how to basically create different routes, how to create our own views. And inside this views folder, we can also create subfolders if you want. So, for example, I'm going to say, uh, you know, profile or let's say users. And inside this users, I'm going to create a profile.blade.php, right? And I'll actually delete this one, this previous profile we had. So I'll move it inside users.profile instead. Now, obviously I moved the file. So if I go back to the profile, it's going to give me an error, right? Profile not found. And Laravel, as you can see, has a very nice way of showing you guys the errors. And it tells you exactly where the line that has the error is. So it's telling us, hey, this profile is not found. So the way you're going to fix it is actually, I'm going to type users.profile, right? So that's where the file is inside the users folder and the name is profile. Now, if you see here, I'm not putting slash, I'm putting dot. That's basically the convention in Laravel for the view files. We just put a dot to indicate that it's a subfolder or inside a folder. So if we had another folder, maybe we had a full profile folder and then we had, I don't know, index. That's how you would define it here. So I'm going to put a dot. That's the convention we use in the Laravel community. Just put it like that. I reload the page and I'm not seeing anything. I think I forgot to save this file. Oh yeah. So I put this here. I'll reload and you can see we have profile. All right, so you can actually create subfolders inside the view folder as well, as many as you like to organize your files. And that's the basics. And one more thing I wanna show you guys about this blade is you're not technically forced to use dot blade. You can actually just use uh, I'll go to the profile. You can just use .php, right? So instead of a blade.php, we use PHP. And the code will actually still work. We get the same thing. So, and actually you don't need to tell if it's like .php or .blade.php. Laravel is very smart. It'll just figure out, oh, okay. It's a PHP or .blade. It'll figure that on its own. But from now on, I'm actually not going to be using PHP, right? And uh, the reason is it's actually easier to use Blade and it makes your code a lot cleaner and easier to read than using PHP here. So if previously you used vanilla PHP, you had to write PHP code uh, at, you know, uh, combined with your HTML. But with Laravel, you don't no longer need to do that. So it's going to make things a lot easier for us. So. Yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You got a better idea of what are routes, how to create routes, how to create our own views, and just get a better understanding of it. In the later episodes, we're going to learn about controllers. And after that, we will learn more about Blade files, which is basically the files we just created. What exactly is Blade? What it is? 
what can we do with it and yeah see you guys on the next episode have a great day bye